Hey guys. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Rip Live Vlog It. So the latest Horror Night Nightmare speculation map has been released. In today's video, we're just going to run through some of the latest changes, some of the things we may be excited to see. Hopefully there's been some new additions which you guys are really excited about, so let's get started. So the only change to do with the houses compared to the last speculation map in the Shrek 4D building, they had rumoured to be Creepshow. It's now rumoured to be either Creepshow or Halloween 3. There's a little asterisk here just saying that the rumours in the general Horror Nights community are not really... It's split, it's split down the middle, basically. So uh, they just included both. Um, I would personally be really excited to see a Halloween 3 house. I think, uh, I think there's some awesome imagery in there. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm a bit torn because I'm thinking, will it be Creepshow the film, will it be the new one, the uh, Greg Nicotero, which I'm thinking it, it probably would be. Um, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn. I'll be happy either way, I think. Yeah, you kind of probably would expect it to be the new one. He's yeah. been working on uh, Puppet Theatre, hasn't he? I remember they, if you haven't seen it, there's a link that Horror Nights put out for the Puppet Theatre house last year. And uh, yeah, we'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, excited either way. Yeah. So I think where the main changes in terms of rooms are happening is with respect to the scare zones. Previously they didn't have all of these scare zones filled in with specific kind of ideas. One just said original scare zone and stuff like that. Um, but now we've got everything filled in so we're going to run through each one of these in turn and uh, see what we think. Mm -hmm. So there are two that have stayed exactly the same. So the 30th anniversary zone is going to be on Plaza of the Stars on Production Central. So the Terra Parenta zone is rumoured to be at Central Park. Um, so where Twisted Tradition was, I, I'm thinking that could be very, very atmospheric. So I'm excited to see what they'll put there. Yeah, we did a video last time we did one of these speculation maps talking about Terra Parenta and some of her backstory. We'll leave a link to the video down below where we talk about her in a bit more detail. New on the list is a Eddy zone. So the Eddy zone, according to this map, is due to appear in San Francisco and that is where the Rob Zombie scare zone appeared in 2019. Very exciting, Eddie was due to appear at Halloween Horror Nights 11. The imagery associated with him was deemed too graphic at a time where 9-11 attacks had just happened, but really excited to see him make a return. And another new one that's been rumoured is a Seek and Destroy zone. So the Seek and Destroy zone is rumoured to be in the New York area of the park. Um, so I mean, that's the, the biggest zone, it's where Vamp 85 was and Zombieland. Very interesting to, to think what's going to be there. <laughs> now the only thing I could think of is the Metallica song, so I don't know if we're getting like a... <laughs> Of what we had for Rob Zombie, but I'm just trying to think what kind of imagery, if it was going to be that, would actually be there. Yeah, I thought it might be like a military themed thing at first because I used, to, I used to play Call of Duty a lot back in the day, but that search and destroy, not seek and destroy. That's I, that's all I've got. <laughs> that's apart from the Metallica song, yeah. <laughs> Metallica theme scare zone. Yeah, cool. let, <laughs> let us know what you think, what you think uh, seek and destroy could be, because I can't think of anything else. Watch more now. We'll just we'll just we'll just watch some other videos and then it'll be dead obvious. <laughs> <what it is>. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah, excited to see this one. There's a shutter scare zone which is going to appear over there at Hollywood Boulevard. If Horror Nights have uh, creative freedom over exactly which imagery they use, should I have? an amazing array of horror films out there, so it's going to be really exciting. Uh, we'll leave a link down below to a Screen Rant article that we found, basically ranking every Shudder movie that was released from best to worst. Um, some of those movies do seem to have quite cool imagery in there. Uh, we watched Host last year and that was awesome. Probably won't appear at the house because it's all done on the Zoom. Yeah. But yeah, it should be, should be really fun. That's good. I'm really excited to see them. So a very exciting addition to the map is we've now got another show listed. So previously it was just the Lagoon show and now they've added a Jack show. So one of the main icons for Halloween Horror Nights, Jack the Clown, it's now rumoured that he's going to have his own show and that's going to be in the Fear Factor, what do they call it? Fear Factor Live Stadium. stadium. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to be in the Fear Factor Live Stadium. You've actually seen a Jack show before, haven't you? You've seen Carnage Returns when you went for 25. I've never seen one. I'm so excited to see it. It seems like such good fun. That carnival theme is awesome. Yeah, I love it. Very excited to see what this show is going to be. And the other show that was due to appear appeared in 2019. It's going to be The Lagoon Show. And I'm really excited to see what they do with that, with all the Horror Nights icons and stuff. Um, 
they did an awesome job in 2019 with Killer Clowns and Ghostbusters and stuff like that. I think it's rumoured on a separate note that uh, Universal have just kind of, everything's back to normal now. Like no restrictions or anything like that. Um, which is good for Horror Nights, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So just leading on from that, um, two of the houses that are rumoured to be here this year were open to the public last year. So the Bride of Frankenstein house and the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy where they had all the plexiglass up um, and I know that different alterations were made so it'll be interesting to see what that house is like now that well restrictions will be lifted they can basically do the house that they, they had first intended to do. We do talk about some of them in detail in a previous vlog and we'll leave a link to that down below if you want to check out some uh, detailed thoughts that we have on those. Yeah, but it looks like it's shaping up if this, um, if the rumours are true, it's looking like it really is shaping up to be an incredible event for the 30th. This is the best lineup like I've seen on, I've only been twice to be fair, but it's the best lineup I've seen uh, since 25, so really exciting. So yeah, those are the changes to the speculation map so far. Um, let us know your thoughts, what are you most excited to see there this year? How many times will you be going to Horror Nights this year? Um, is there anything else on this list which you thought would be there but isn't there. Um, we're really excited to hear some of your guys' thoughts so please do let us know in the comments down below. And with that being said, if you have enjoyed this video please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.